And now we check back in with Amanda Vinicky, who spent the day in North Suburban Skokie as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Amanda. Yeah, Brandeskoki is one of just the handful of municipalities with its own public health department. And nurse Susan Riceberg says they take a comprehensive approach to health that includes a vaccine clinic in the downstairs of Village Hall. And the nurse says they keep busy. We see, receive calls from parents, from businesses. We have support staff that answers phones, myriad of phone calls that come in, countless phone calls come in every day, um, all kinds of questions. We assist people who are not computer literate in signing up for vaccination clinics. We uh, assist people in finding the dates for, that they were vaccinated if they misplaced their COVID cards. We're referring them to Illinois Vax Verify as many as possible so that they can retrieve their data. You may notice the shirts that she and nurse Jennifer Davis are wearing. They're gifts from the director of the department that spell out vaccinated. Measles, varicella, which is chicken pox, meningococcus, or you will hear it meningitis, the meningitis vaccine, polio, which is virtually eradicated in the world, virtually all of these due to vaccines. These are vaccine preventable diseases. Of course, even those who have been vaccinated for COVID-19 are getting those so-called breakthrough cases. But Davis says that it is still important for people, including children, to get that shot. The main goal of vaccines is to prevent hospitalization and death. So while people are still possibly testing positive through, with breakthrough cases, there is a vast and immense difference between those who are hospitalized um, that are boosted versus unvaccinated. The nurses were good sports and while their number one message is for folks to get vaccinated and to mask up, well, they have another one via song. One, two, three. We hate you COVID, oh yes we do. We don't hate anyone as, as much, much as you. <laughs> when you come near us, we're blue. Oh, COVID, we, we hate you. There you have it. Now, actually, the last time that I was in Skokie to cover an In Your Neighborhood series, we were not able to get to the Illinois Holocaust Museum. It was closed. That was really at the height of the pandemic. It has, however, been open for a while now, and things are going smoothly. I had the opportunity to speak today with uh, the head of the museum, or the director, rather, Susan Abram, about a new exhibit that is set to make its debut the 27th of this month, and it's virtual reality. It is an opportunity to put on a headset and journey with a survivor back to their home uh, originally in Europe and then to go with them to the concentration camps that they experienced. So you could stand with survivor Fritzi Fritschall on the arrival ramp at Auschwitz as she shares with you how she and her family were pushed from the rail car and separated to the sound of barking dogs and yelling. Fritzi Fritschall, by the way, was the longtime president of the Holocaust Museum, and she passed away this past June. She had made a promise in Auschwitz. She was the youngest one there, and 599 other women gave her crumbs of their bread ration, and she promised them that she would share their stories. She certainly has done so with the Illinois Holocaust Museum, which also has a current exhibit going on. This one focused on LBG2Q rights in Stonewall. Rise Up focuses on Stonewall and the LGBTQ rights movement that looks at uh, First Amendment issues and others in the long course of struggle towards equal rights for all. And we know that struggle is still ongoing and that's addressed too. Um, the, muse the exhibition was created by the museum in DC and our wonderful curatorial team has an overlay of Chicago as well. A message of equality that she says is in keeping with the Illinois Holocaust Museum's entire reason for existence. Again, Rise Up is current, but a journey back will soon open on the 27th. With that from Skokie, back to you. Amanda, you cannot beat singing nurses. Thank you so much.